Okay, and we also might want to look at some other tests of motor control um, of the extensors, for example. So we can put them into this four point kneeling position. You can also put them into prone on elbows if they have any problems with their arms and they can't weight bear through their um, wrists. Um, you want to just make sure that they're not, um, that they can use their serratus well and hold that position. So for the upper cervical, we would just get her into that neutral position and we'd ask her to just try and draw a straight line with your nose um, from side to side. And we're just seeing whether she's able to do that pure C1-2 rotation. She's a little bit... Um, dropping a little bit and not getting that pure C1-2. Then we could also see with upper cervical, so just doing upper cervical flexion extension and checking that one's fine, which is good. And then we can see whether she can use her lower cervical extensors. So for this one, I'm gonna get you to keep your chin um, in that neutral position. You're gonna curl down as far as you can manage. And then you're going to just try and lift up and around where my fingers are, keeping your chin in that neutral position. So can you go any higher? That's it, and curl down and lifting up and around where my fingers are. And she's finding that that difficult to get past neutral there. Lifting up and around. Yeah, she's okay. And you want to make sure she doesn't use her um, superficial extensors um, that attach to the skull. So you're making sure she stays into that neutral position. So curling down and then lifting up and around. And that's good. So she finds that difficult, but she can manage it.